Welcome to MoveSpring, a health and wellness platform that allows companies and organizations to come together and compete in step and activity challenges. Let's begin the download and sign up process. You'll first receive an email from your organization's challenge administrator with steps to follow to join your challenge. Typically, challenge admins will send out an invitation link that you can click to download the MoveSpring mobile app and create your account from there. Creating an account might look slightly different depending on the device and platform you're using, but in this case, I'm brought to the App Store where I can download the mobile app. If you're following these same steps from a desktop computer instead, you should be brought to app.movespring.com where you can follow the same steps to sign up and create your account. Once the app is downloaded, open it and select Sign Up to create your account. Next, enter the organization code your challenge admin provided and select Sign Up again. This section may already be pre-filled for you if you're joining from an invitation link. Then confirm that you're joining with the correct organization by selecting Confirm here. Now it's time to create your personal MoveSpring account. Depending on the organization you're signing up with, you may be asked to enter a unique ID to determine your eligibility, and you may also be prompted to answer a set of questions by your challenge admin, such as the department you work in. Then enter your first and last name and select Continue. Enter your email address, create a password, and check the box agreeing to the MoveSpring Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. Select Continue once again. Now you'll be able to create a username for your account and choose a profile picture. This is how others will see you on the app. You'll be assigned a MoveSpring avatar by default, but you can also select Edit Photo here to take a photo, choose one from your camera library, or select a different MoveSpring avatar. Select Continue again, and you'll first be prompted to allow notifications. We suggest enabling notifications for the best app experience. You'll receive notifications when new announcements are shared, new content is posted in your challenge, when new chat messages are sent in your challenge chat, and more. After that, you'll be brought through a brief tutorial that covers syncing your data, your challenges, and how to view challenge scores and content, as well as how to contact our support team with questions. From here, select Take Me to My Dashboard. If you signed up from a challenge invitation link, you should see a message indicating that you're being added to your challenge. If you signed up from an organization code or a link that didn't include your challenge details, you should be able to locate your challenge once it's live from the blue join button, or you'll be added to your challenge by your challenge admin at a later date. From here, you can connect your device by selecting connect your device now. Most major fitness tracking devices are available, or you can connect your mobile phone to use it as your fitness tracker. Since I'm on an iPhone, I can set up my phone as my fitness tracker by selecting the iPhone via Apple Health option here. For Android phones, you'll need to set up and connect to the free Google Fit app instead. If you're setting up your account on a computer but would like to use your phone as your fitness tracker, you'll need to log into your account from the mobile app to connect your device. Depending on the device you're connecting, the next few screens here may look different. You may be prompted to log into your Fitbit or Garmin account, for example, so MoveSpring can be granted access to your activity data. Allow MoveSpring to access your activity data from your connected device and follow any prompts to connect. Once you have an active challenge available in your account, you can click into View Challenge to see more information. From here, you can scroll down and click into a challenge card to see more details about that specific challenge. For example, this streak challenge shows me the challenge goal and my personal stats. If you go into the Group Stats tab, you can see the stats for all participants and how your group is doing overall. A challenge with a leaderboard card like this one ranks you against other challenge participants by average steps, distance, or active minutes. You can also adjust the leaderboard by different metrics from here to view a ranking by total or average active minutes, for example. If you have additional questions, please visit help.movespring.com. From all of us here at MoveSpring, happy stepping.